Today on our show, a new eagle statue celebrates Bullock County history. We follow the entertainment beat with Connect editor Lindsay Cheney. From sinkhole to Aikens Pond and all points in between, you're in Studio Statesboro. Studio Statesboro is brought to you by Ogeechee Technical College and East Georgia Regional Hospital. At Ogeechee Technical College, our purpose is to help students find their purpose. As an introduction to computers instructor, I help students select a career path that will lead them to a more rewarding life. I'm Sharita Habersham, and my purpose is to help students find theirs. At Ogeechee Technical College, instructors like Sharita are ready to help you realize your purpose. Visit ogeecheetech.edu to learn more. Ogeechee Technical College, education with purpose. Welcome to Studio Statesboro. I'm Robin Aspinwall. Thanks for clicking on us. The latest entry into the Eagle Nation on Parade was installed at the Statesboro Regional Library on Wednesday evening. Like the other Eagle statues you may see around town and on Georgia Southern's campus, this one has its own theme, Family Tree. It celebrates the history of Bullock County and was sponsored by the Bullock County Historical Society. The artist who made the Bullock County Historical Society uh, family tree eagle, which has just been installed out here um, at the library. Um, it's an educational tool for the community. Uh, it's especially geared towards kids who may not know about their history very well, but it's also a lot of fun for adults, some of whom know some of the folks that are on it in places. Yep. The library and the Bullock County Historical Society um, work together to place it here because it's the perfect spot. It tells a complete story of Bullock County's history, where people come for genealogy, where they, um, you know, where the history resides. So uh, here it tells a perfect story. It's it's uh, perfect for all ages. It was designed and inspired by Howard Finster, who is a folk artist, and so Scott Fox, who is one of the Betty Boy Sanders Department of Art. MFA candidates um, drew and painted this just stunning piece of work. We're so excited to have it be a part of Eagle Nation on Parade. We are very, very grateful for the uh, community and their ongoing support of this project. These eagles, uh, you know, they definitely change the landscape of our community, but they, they change it in a good way. And it brings scholarship money to our students to, you know, to continue to work in their artistic ventures. So we really appreciate Bullock County's support. When we come back, Connect Statesboro editor Lindsay Cheney will tell us what's hot in the borough. Ask your cardiologist about our newest program in cardiac care. Ask your cardiologist about our newest cardiac specialist. Ask your cardiologist about the life-saving procedures we can now perform in our brand new facility. The complete heart care you need is available right where you live. Call your cardiac referral line today. East Georgia Regional Medical Center in Statesboro. Hi, I'm Lindsay Cheney, editor of Connect Statesboro. The theater and performance program at Georgia Southern University presents the romantic comedy, The Clean House, to kick off its current season. The production opened this week in the Center for Art and Theater's Black Box Theater on campus and will run through Wednesday, October 2nd. Shows begin at 7.30 p.m. with a 2 p.m. matinee performance this Sunday. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for general admission. Also this weekend, Eagle Volleyball will open up conference play by hosting Elon at 7 p.m. Friday night at Hanner Fieldhouse followed by a match against UNC Greensboro at 2 p.m. Saturday. The Eagles are hot right now with a 12-2 record and four tournament wins already this season, so don't miss your chance to catch a match at home for the start of what looks to be a very promising year. For more info on what's happening in the borough, pick up this week's copy of Connect or check us out at connectstatesboro.com. I'm Lindsay Cheney for Studio Statesboro. 
Thanks for joining us in Studio Statesboro today. We're here with a new show after 5 p.m. every weekday. You can stay in touch with local news and the pages of the Statesboro Herald and online at statesboroherald.com. And you can also follow us on Facebook. We'll see you soon.